Hello friends. Welcome back to Indian VV by channel. Hope so you liked our previous video of, what is scope? I think you are excited to get more details about different clauses of ISO 17025-2017. Please welcome Mr. VV and let's ask him about what we will learn in this session. Thanks for welcome Miss Lily. Once again hello friends. Without wasting time let's get started. Let's see this session content. Today I will cover clause number 4.1 impartiality. Which is subclause of 4 that is general requirements of ISO 17025-2017. This time we have also brought situation video for better understanding. So let's start. As I told impartiality falls as. Subclause number 4.1 in clause 4. Clause number 4 is for general requirements of ISO 17025-2017. As earlier discussed ISO 17025 stands for general requirements for the competence of testing and calibration laboratories. You are first requested to click on bell icon to get notifications about quality related videos. As this channel provide easy and funny approach to get understanding of quality management system. So subscribe, share, and like Indian VV by channel. So, what is impartiality? In general term we can say that it is to be unbiased. However as per clause number 3.1 impartiality means presence of objectivity. In more detail, objectivity to be accepted as that you don't have any conflicts of interest for laboratory activities. Let's think about other synonyms related to the word impartiality. So that you can get basic understanding before going in deep. There are few words like Freedom from conflict of interest. Freedom from bias. Lack of prejudice. Neutrality. Fairness. Open-mindedness. Even-handledness. Detachment. Balance. In short it means you must have ethical approach in all activities related to your laboratory. But why impartiality came in picture of quality management system? Impartiality is the most critical factor which can alter the laboratory activities like testing, calibration, and sampling too. Your laboratory report is the ultimate output of your laboratory. If you want to have laboratory as per ISO 17025-2017, it is the most important general clause for which you must have structure and management policy to safeguard impartiality. As per clause 4.1.1. Laboratory activities shall be undertaken impartially and structured and managed so as to safeguard impartiality. Well in this single line ISO has used the word. Shall be. So in this line ISO has demanded impartiality policy. Your internal quality system procedure to avoid conflict of interest. Identification of risk area where impartially may arise. And also asked. Safeguard approach to reduce impartiality. Let's take situation video example for more understanding after clause 4.1.2. As per 4.1.2, the laboratory management shall be committed to impartiality. Again ISO used the word shall be. That means it is also compulsory requirement to have policy which tells management is committed to impartiality. Impartiality is not only employees task who working at ground level but it is applicable to all persons who are directly or indirectly involved in laboratory management too. Now two videos will come one by one. Taking same situation and you have to guess which approach is good and where impartiality has arisen, and how it can be avoided and also where management also need to follow the positive approach to fulfill this requirement. Hello friends. I called you in our training center hall to discuss about our department financial goals. We have lots of samples for testing and we have to provide fast service to the customer. We have to reduce turnaround time to boost up our testing activities. Reduce time of testing, avoid the necessary precautions, no need to document everything. You will get good appraisal only if you act as per my requirements to achieve our financial target. Excuse me sir, I have one question. Okay ask. In such a pressurized atmosphere we cannot maintain our regular good practices for which our company known for. Leave that on me. Do as I say. I am your boss. 
sir, financial target, reduction in turnaround time for testing, limited manpower, cost reduction and necessary consumable items may lead to unpredictable error in quality. Monica. You are a very good employee, don't worry about quality system. Do worry for your job. Hello friends. I called you in our training center hall to discuss about our department financial goals. We have lots of samples for testing and we have to provide fast service to the customer. We have to reduce turnaround time to boost up our testing activities to reach financial goals. We have to think about how to reach goals without compromising. Even a single quality clause. You all don't be in pressure, no one is going to force you for your work, just think how to create good and healthy culture to make win-win situation. Definitely sir, we can manage with your kind support. Great, Monica make list of all required resources and items. We will achieve our goals in an ethical manner. Right sir. As customer service and integrity of test results are the main core values of our company. Great, we will do it. We have to be impartial with customers and also with our values. What do you say Miss Lily? Where you have found the clause 4.1 requirement was fulfilled? Video 1 or video 2? I will go with video 2. Which fulfill the requirement impartiality. Well it can be understood that management impartiality policy can safeguard the conflict of interest. But more than that development of impartiality culture can safeguard whole the laboratory quality policy. Exactly. Don't consider this ISO requirement as just a document procedure. If you really work at structure level, communication level and culture development level, you will definitely find great atmosphere with integrated services. Let's see another example video 3 and 4. In this video you have to find the difference between culture development level for impartiality. What carefully Miss Lily? Definitely. Let's see. Hello Mr. Brown. How can I assist you? See Monica as you know I am here for retesting of my sample. Last time your testing was not good and because of that our supply was rejected. Because of you my company suffered a loss. I am really sorry sir. You are my uncle's daughter. We can negotiate in different way for the benefit of both of us. It's really unethical sir, I cannot do that type of work. Hello Mr. Brown. How are you? I hope our service is going good. See Sarah as you know I am here for retesting of my sample. Last time in your absence, Monica testing was not good and because of that our supply was rejected. Hope so you carry out my job positively. I met your husband in hotel. He was doing great as manager. Thank you sir for recommending my husband as manager in such a good hotel. I am very thankful to you. You are my neighbor after all, Sarah. We have to work in such a way that both of us get benefits in all manner. It's really great sir, we will continue our professional relationship to get best results. Well Miss Lily. What you have observed? In video 3 due to impartially culture and effective understanding of policy. Miss Monica has avoided biasness. On the other side in video 4 customer was trying to take advantage of personal relationship and successful to alter the laboratory activities with Miss Sarah. Now let's see the difference after applying policy for impartiality and quality management system. See Sarah as you know I am here for retesting of my sample. Last time in your absence, Monica testing was not good and because of that our supply was rejected. Hope so you carry out my job positively. I met your husband in hotel. He was doing great as manager. Thank you sir for recommending my husband as manager in such a good hotel. I am very thankful to you. But sir, we have to follow our impartiality policy. I cannot alter test results based on personal relations. Sarah. You will suffer financially if you not do so. I am sorry sir, I cannot help you in this way. We have signed the impartiality policy and we must obey the rules. Oh no. Oh great. After the having different policies and safeguarded structure. 
the relation of conflicts can be avoided easily, so each employee should be well trained and made to learn the organization policy as per ISO 17025. This is just the only clause 4.1 which have improved organization performance, and also increased integrity of test results of laboratories. From the video you can understand that there are different parameters which may compromise impartiality. And that is clause number 4.1.3. The laboratory shall be responsible for the impartiality of its laboratory activities and shall not allow commercial, financial or other pressures to compromise impartiality. Now let's move to clause number 4.1.4. The laboratory shall identify risks to its impartiality on an ongoing basis. This shall include those risks that arises from its activities, or from its relationships, or from the relationships of its personnel. However such relationship do not necessarily present a laboratory with a risk to impartiality. That means there are chances of conflicts of interest where relationship may have with colleagues or with customers. But that doesn't mean where such a relationship exists there will be conflict of interest. Definitely it's organization call to undertake this type of situation by applying safeguard policies and procedures to be followed when there is risk of impartiality. As I spoke that also based on clause 4.1.5. If a risk to impartiality is identified, the laboratory shall be able to demonstrate how it eliminates or minimizes such a risk. So these are the five clauses of impartiality 4.1. So let's ask few questions to Miss Lily. So that I can understand how I am able to explain impartiality clause. Tell Miss Lily, which type of situation and relationships can affect impartiality? Well personal or favoritism relationship with competitors, supplier, Colleagues and customers may violate impartiality clause. What are the other parameters which may lead to impartiality violation? Equal opportunity in organization, health and safety, bullying, harassment, discrimination, bribery, corruption, fair approach, appropriate use of social media, gifts, entertainment. Well you have identified lots of risk areas for impartiality. That is called risk-based thinking as per new ISO 17025-2017. Bye friends. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. We are waiting for your comments. We will come back to you with new learning on this knowledge sharing platform. God bless you.